Hi! In the last video we mentioned that we've started a new series called Coffee Break Tips, which is for the moment taking over for our Pro Tip series. The aim of this series is to create short, really practical and useful videos that you can watch on your coffee break. I'm Helen from Singlot and let's get into it. Today we will be looking at what you need to do if you're all of a sudden given responsibility for marketing, even if you've never worked with it before. Lots of things can go wrong. You will need to maintain results, read reports and allocate budgets. And it might be difficult where to start. This is what I want to explain to you today. So the first thing is to get a good overview. Make sure that you have the right accesses to things like Google Analytics and Facebook Business Manager. And it's better to discover any missing accesses now rather than later. The second thing is to ensure ownership. Sometimes agencies will create accounts in their own names, such as analytics or social media accounts. A lot of the time this is done for simplicity or to get a better invoicing. But sometimes agencies also do this, unfortunately, to keep a bit more power over the customer. You want to make sure that you as a business own the account and not an agency or any other partners you've used. If you don't have the original ownership of the account, sometimes it can be impossible to change it. If you see this happening to you, the best thing is always to try and get ownership of the account, but worst case, you may have to create a new account and start fresh. The third is to create a content library. You will notice pretty quickly that you're probably not gonna be able to go out and film and make content every time you need something new for social media or a campaign. Therefore, your best shot is to create a library of all the content that you have available, especially the type of content that is called evergreen, which can be used multiple times. Collect content from your agency, your customers, or even your colleagues, and you will start noticing that this saves you a lot of time in the future. The fourth is to rally help internally. You may be surprised by the amount of help that you can actually receive from colleagues, even if they are just as busy as you. You have a colleague that has to go to a customer meeting, ask him to film a short interview, and possibly take a few pictures of the customer. And voila, you have content both for a blog and for social media. What about hosting a competition among your colleagues about who can create the best content from customer meetings, for instance? I've seen this work really well in the past. Look for someone external. I know it may sound counterintuitive when you've just lost budget to use agencies to ask for help externally, but there's a big difference between using expensive agencies who take on all the responsibility for marketing and using selected services that will help relieve you in your work life. What about, for instance, getting help with just publishing on social media, video editing, or even just analyzing the results? Many consultancies and agencies like ourselves are offering more and more tailored solutions which are semi-hands-on and can help with many different solutions that can both be great for you and the results. Our advice is to be very specific about the services that you need help with and make a very clear case about the expected improvement and the better results that will come from that. And you may be surprised that you will get a bit of extra budget from your boss, as well as some relief of your shoulders. That's it for today. I really hope that these advice were useful for you. What kind of problems do you have with marketing? If there's anything specific you'd like us to talk about, leave a comment below and we're more than happy to follow up. Please like this post and share it with anyone you think this could be useful for. Until the next one, bye bye.